Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Hello, welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today we're going to be making a delicious, simple sandwich. We're going to make a steak and mushroom Swiss melt. So as you can see on the plate in the center, I've got a fresh tomato. I've got some onion rings. I've got some sliced Gouda cheese here. I've got some sliced mushrooms. I've got a nice piece of steak, which I've sort of beaten a bit, flattened it out. Bit of a minute steak. You can use any, any type of steak you want, to be honest. Okay, on this side, I've got some Dijon mustard and some mayonnaise. We're gonna mix them together to create a very light mustard known as Dijonaise, funny enough. Um, on the other side, I've just got some black pepper, some salt, and a touch of dried tarragon. And at the back here, you can see I've just got some wholemeal, long kind of soft baguettes. Again, you can use any kind of bread you want. I just prefer these. And I've got some sort of designer salad around here, which we're gonna add, make it nice, crispy, and beautiful. Okay, let's get over to the cooker, and we'll start cooking that lovely piece of beef. Okay, so I've got my pan on here, quite, quite hot. I'm just gonna, let's just chop that little steak in. While it's in, let's put a bit of pepper on the top there. A little bit of salt, and a little bit of the tarragon. So just gently with this, there's no need to press the life out of the meat, you just sort of distress it to be honest, just leave it. I've not got any oil or butter in there at this stage. Just cook it for a few minutes on each side. It depends on the thickness. This is quite thin as you can see. So I'm just going to do this like every minute I'll turn it. One minute, one minute, one minute. Then we'll set it aside. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, as you can see, I've turned this over a few times. And I've added some more salt, pepper and tarragon there. This is smoking beautifully. And like I say, don't press it. It's a, it's a real sort of mistake that people make, is to press down on the meat. Just be gentle with it. Okay, this is gonna come out now, and I'm just gonna rest it. We need to just rest that for a few minutes. And while that's happening, I'm gonna drop in some onions and some mushrooms. I'm gonna add a little splash of olive oil now. And a bit more salt, pepper, and the tarragon. So we're just going to sort of char these for a few minutes. So these will be ready in about literally one one minute or two minutes, and then we're ready to actually start putting the sandwich together. So I'll see you over at the table once I finish these. Okay, so you can see now that I've um, sliced some tomatoes. I've done them as thin as I can, so you know, I don't like big wedges of tomato. I've got my um, onions and my mushrooms cooked. I've got my beef cooked. I've sliced it as thin as I can again. It's got a nice kind of red, redness in the middle. It's kind of medium rare. I've mixed my mayonnaise and my Dijon mustard to create our Dijonaise. You can use any mustard if you want. If you want to use English mustard, you could try that. That's a lot stronger. Um, and then I've got some different leaves over there, which is all great. All we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the cooker because what, what I'm going to do is the same pan that we cooked the beef and the vegetables in. I'm now just going to lay the bread, the sandwich bread, on that to soak up the remainder of all those juices. So let's get over there. Then we'll get back, we'll fill our sandwich, and then we can eat it. Okay, so I'm still back in this, the same pan. So we've got the remnants of the oil, the juices of the, the, the beef, the salt, the pepper, the tarragon, touch of the onion. I don't want to waste this at all. This is just beautiful. This is where it's at for me. So I'm simply going to face down, pop them in there. They'll soak up those juices and they'll be delicious. It's much better than sort of putting some mayonnaise on it or butter or whatever. This is exactly where I want to be with this one. It's delicious. They'll soak all that up. It heats the bread as well, which kind of gives a lovely effect. Okay, so 
literally that I'm just going to press this down and this is done this is already done I've got this on a high heat let's have a look you see it's, it's just soaked all of that up beautiful okay over back over to the table okay so there you go there's the bottom of our bread which we just toasted there let's get a little bit of our Dijonese on there and like I said if you want to use a stronger mustard you certainly can let's just get a little bit of our beef on there like I say, nice and red. Just drop a few mushrooms there, and some onions. It's fantastic, really simple sandwich. All right, let's get some cheese on there now. That's great. There you go. A few slices of tomato. Use any lettuce you like, really. These just look a lot nicer. And then taste, some of them taste great as well. All right, let's go back in again, a little bit more beef. That's fantastic. A little bit more. Tomato. This is stacking up. So she stays together. Let's go for a bit more cheese. There you go. And then just here on this is the uh, top. A bit more of the Dijonese. Let's pop that on. Push her down. Oh, she's ready to go. That is beautiful. I'm so happy with that. See you next time. Bye bye. How to cook great food .com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.